To do the individual manual muscle test for the rhomboids, the patient is prone on a mat. The limb is placed in 90 degrees of shoulder abduction. The elbow is straight and the humerus is internally rotated such that the hand is facing inferiorly for the patient. Uh, the stabilization is provided by the mat table and also you can provide stabilization just over the contralateral scapula. The location of resistance is distal humerus or distal forearm. Distal forearm will give you a little more uh, torque at the shoulder, but it also requires the patient to have a, uh, intact triceps in order to um, stabilize the elbow. The direction of resistance is uh, simply straight anterior for the patient. Uh, basically into a horizontal a deduction sort of motion. So we're starting right here and applying pressure here. Hold that. Hold, 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 hold. Good. And what we're looking for with the rhomboid test is, you can relax, is um, that the scapula stays stabilized um, and a deducted throughout the test. Uh, part of it is does the arm actually break and, and go into horizontal adduction, but also you are trying to observe uh, does the scapula stay stabilized or does it slide into abduction. Um, also, if the scapula upwardly rotates, that's an indication that middle trap rather than rhomboid is doing the work. The rhomboid is palpated just inferior to the spine of the scapula. Here's the spine of the scapula. Here's the medial border. And so the rhomboid is going to be running right along in there.